Harris. So, um, today, I thought it, tonight, <laughs> I would do a video of how to make your doll look real in a car seat. So, you might be like me and don't have a reborn doll, which is totally fine. You could still make your doll look kind of real in a car seat. I just wanted to try this out because I've been watching lots of videos of how to do this. So, the things that you'll need are a baby doll. And it's, it's like kind of realistic, like you wouldn't want like, I don't know, a doll with really long hair that would have like, that wouldn't really look realistic as a baby baby, but like something like just a regular doll is perfectly fine. Like this one is from Corel or whatever that name is, some kind of baby doll brand. You could do ones from Adora, that's Gabby. And if you're wondering, here. Doll is really old. It's Luca. Um, and if you're wondering, I haven't been making that many videos in the doll nursery because doll room because it's kind of messy right now. It's not like that messy, but um, that's why it's kind of messy. So I'm not going to be doing too many videos in here, but in there. But I can still do lots of doll videos because I have a bedroom. So yeah. So the things I'll, I'll probably do some more tomorrow, but. The thing, and then a pacifier could kind of make it. You don't need all these things, really. You just need a doll and a car seat. That's really it. <laughs> Blanket. Some kind of toy. I got this one. And then a doll car seat. This is, you do not need to do this with a real car seat. It is perfectly fine just with a regular one you have. And you might be thinking, that doesn't look very realistic. Because... There's polka dots all over it. The strap is not very realistic. So, yeah, but don't worry, we'll fix that. And yeah, so let's get started. Once you have your car seat, you can clearly just leave that like that. It looks kind of good, but um, if you want it to look a little bit more realistic, just take a blanket that's kind of bland. Like just this black one I have. It's really fuzzy. Um, you can put over it and then make it look like a whole different new car seat. You wouldn't be able to have the straps, but that wouldn't matter because you were technically putting a, maybe a blanket on the baby, so it wouldn't really matter. You wouldn't even see the straps, but you can really do anything you want. This is completely up to you. So I might use this blanket just to make it look a little bit more realistic just because the straps and stuff, but don't worry. You can literally do whatever you want. So. As you can see, that looks pretty good. Yes, you can see a few pieces, but I'll just tuck that away. So I think the pink border thing is not too bad, so I'm just gonna just leave that. Sorry, the color is kind of hard to see, but once you have the baby in, you'll see it. So that already looks really good, as you can see. So you want the baby to be spread out a little bit, just so the things don't out a little bit. I'm just gonna make this sweater look good. So now you can just take a regular blanket. I might use what side looks better, that side or that side. What do you think? I'm just gonna use whatever I think right now. But oh, you have picked. I think that looks pretty good because I want a little bit of color. So I'm gonna just fold it a little bit more. Like if you're actually taking it for like a walk or something, you might want to put it with the straps, but I don't really mind because this is just for fun. So, and now this is your choice. Does your baby have open eyes or closed eyes? Or you could do both. I personally think I'm gonna do closed eyes just because it's kind of more realistic, but you could do whatever you want. That's just my thing. So, yeah. And then, so you can either do your baby doll's pacifier in or out and because if your baby can't actually open this bottle. So that looks pretty good. But if you don't like that, or your doll can't open its mouth, there's a simple thing to it. Just take a regular one that cannot fit in their mouth, just a regular pacifier, and slip it out. Like they dropped it when they were sleeping. They were just, they fell asleep and they couldn't hold on to it anymore. So they just, that. Here, just kind of place it onto their mouth and then drop it. See where it would land, kind of? And you can place it a little better if you don't think that's quite right. So, that looks pretty good. 
So that's just a choice. And just so you know, I might, um, this is just for baby dolls. It could be for reborns too, but I don't know. Um, I personally think I'm gonna just go with the one in it, but you can do whatever you want. So I think the baby should, if your doll doesn't have any hair because it's a really young baby and it has like slight painted on here, I like putting a hat on it. In my tip, there's a little bit, you can't really see it on camera, but there's indents, pretend hair. But, um, and check what the weather is. So if the weather is cold, would you put it in a bathing suit, like a really hot outfit, like a, it would be cold? No, so that's why you should just use like outfits that suit your weather. So right now it's kind of cold, so I put it in a sweater and a hat so that's just a tip now if it's a if you want your baby doll to be awake here um, i recommend putting toys on because it would be like kind of bored and it would want to be active which means it would want to put a toy so yeah but if it's asleep i'm sure it doesn't really matter but i still think that looks pretty cute because maybe it just fell asleep so yes it's not spot on but i think it's pretty good so i hope you like this video um, this is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. So, if you like it, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So, see you next time.